welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. As always, once again, it is early in the morning. I am up making some videos for you guys. Um, but as you can see, we're doing another episode of Base Reviews. Um, I haven't done these in a while. thought that it'd be cool. So here we go. This is uh, Town Hall 8. Let me go ahead and grab my brush right here so that I can circle things for you guys. Um, but we are going to be doing Town Hall... Um, we're going to be doing Town Hall 8. Can we see this? Oops. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing Town Hall 8. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and I have four bases for you guys today. First off, if you guys want to submit your bases for review, send it to base reviews with molt at gmail.com and make sure that the title of the email is your base, so Town Hall 8, and then your level. Okay, if you don't, I'm not gonna look at it. If you send me your clan information, I'm not gonna look at it because I just opened up my email and I had about 600 emails in there. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. Um, and everybody's not gonna, everybody's not gonna get reviewed. It's not possible. I, there's absolutely no way that I have enough time. So, look at these bases um, that I do review and see their similarities to your base, and then take the tips that I have for these um, <clears throat> and apply them to yourself. Cool. All right. Let's do this. So we got Warrior Z first, level 99. That is an awesome looking Town Hall 8, let's be honest. Um, you're upgrading to Town Hall 9 right now with 6 million gold already to upgrade everything else. Um, everything is maxed out, so right off the bat, uh, A+. Plus. It looks really, really great. Um, the layout is good because it looks like your mortars, um, as they are triangulated, they help to cover practically the entire base um, so that's that's really good placement on um, the mortars as well as the air defenses the only thing um, if somebody wanted to attack from this side of the base uh, sorry if somebody wanted to attack from this side of the base over here on the left then um, and they just happened to have um, lightning spells they could drop three of them right here um, right in the middle there and take out both of um, both of those so that could be a little bit dangerous um, I don't know if I would completely say to just rearrange everything from that um, but I would definitely say that <laughs> but I would definitely say that um, that is a weak part in the base if there is any um, otherwise I like how everything is laid out I like how you have your Teslas around the base and then in this area you have bombs instead of the Tesla so people don't know exactly where the Teslas are um, you do have a couple of collectors inside your walls which is interesting um, at Town Hall 8 I, I don't think I ever put collectors in the walls at least not this many um, but it still looks like you're protecting everything really, really well. Your clan castle is centralized, which is perfect. It's not going to be able to be pulled very easily. Um, so that's awesome. Very, very good job with that. Um, your resources are in good spots. I mean, really, there isn't too much to say about this base. And guys, if, if y'all see a, a popular base that I picked, um, I don't know popular bases because I don't research that kind of stuff. I just make my own. So if y'all see a popular base like Chief Pat's base or I don't know Tesla blah 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 people always talk about them um you can comment that down below I wouldn't know it I don't look them up because I make my own so <laughs> um but overall Warrior Z this is an awesome awesome base um great job upgrading everything that's definitely a challenge a challenge to do um but the layout of it's awesome your wizard towers are in a triangle um, your air defenses are in a triangle and your mortars are in a triangle which is perfect you always want to do that um, and you also switch up your point defenses around the base and you, you're keeping everything close so nobody's gonna get nobody's gonna get too much stuff for free um, all your collectors are close into the walls which is very very important so good job Warriors Z that is an awesome base um, now we're gonna move on to Dylan Bex level 75 so that's a huge level difference between him and warrior z um so his is a trophy base as you can see um <clears throat> it is a little bit long as you can see one thing that 
uh, is very easy to do when you're building your base is to kind of make it like a diamond and that can be dangerous because then it makes it really really skinny so somebody can um, break in from the sides and, and get into the middle pretty easily. If somebody just has four wall breakers, they can get into right here um, and take all this stuff out and then just let some archers sit right here and take out the town hall. So that's one thing that you have to be um, aware of. I just noticed that you have a, <laughs> that you have an archer tower outside the walls right here. Um, I don't know why you did that or where it goes. You were probably upgrading it, but definitely move it in um, at this point so yeah um, you do have the Teslas here which is I guess a good spot for them you have your uh, you have your mortars triangulated as well as your air defenses triangulated um, your wizards do need some upgrading for sure I would upgrade those your wizard towers before any of your other air any of your other defenses at this point because they do splash damage to ground and air um, so it's very important this one up here is pretty exposed um, I know you do have all these traps in here. Oh, also, I wouldn't put all your air defenses right there. Um, or your air bombs. Generally, when I use air bombs, I put them by air defenses because if somebody comes down to this and they blow up this air defense, and say you have uh, an air bomb right here and you have an air bomb right in here, then they're going to attack from this side because they just lightning spelled that air defense thinking that they're safe and then they're done because if you have um, a couple of air defenses around here then it's going to drastically change um, what happens to them. Now if most of them do attack from the top which I guess they do because that's why you have all that there then that's fine but generally I would spread them out and uh, protect your air defenses with air defenses. <laughs> um, let's see what else uh, I mean, overall, it seems like you have things pretty well protected, but actually, now that I look at it, all of your wizard towers are in a very vulnerable position since they're out here. You should have those definitely inside. These cannons, I don't know why these cannons are inside this center core. Um, I'd consider moving those out. I can't tell you where to move them to because I think the walls on this are a little bit um, messed up, but if I were you... I would look at something like what Warrior Z has, um, how it is more of a square, and you can uh, fit more stuff in there. So, Ooh, it's early. I'm sorry for the yawn. Ooh. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> um, that's my uh, alarm. I woke up early today. So, next we have... Why is there a circle in there? Dang it. Um, <laughs> I must have put that circle on there earlier on accident. <clears throat> um, what happens if I do this? No, we don't want to do that. No, okay. Well, I guess that circle is there because I don't want to go into my email and find the picture again. But this is Ani Annie. Uh, you can see that he has a town hall, a trophy base, but whew, this top area is really, really weak. Um, if you look at, if you look at the distance between this wall and this wall right here, which is right next to the town hall, compared to shoot this wall and this wall, it's a lot further. So all somebody has to do is attack from the top here and they'll be able to get into the base pretty well also you're uh, I'll, I'll stay on point um, I think a good idea would be to take these sections so whatever you have with these um, archer towers and move those walls up here and defend up here a little bit more rather than just having a couple builders huts um, so definitely try and do that because you don't need that much, you don't need more defense on these sides. Because again, if you measure from right here to right here, then you're still doing better than from here to here. Um, so that's one big thing that I would definitely say that you need to do. Um, your mortars are triangulated, your air defenses are, these two are really, really close. Somebody can take out two air defenses 
right there with some lightning spells. Um, so if you're getting attacked by air troops a lot, I would consider that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So um, your wizard towers are in a really, really weird location. Um, I'm, I'm all about symmetry in my base and kind of like reflecting things uh, so that it's well protected all the way around. Um, but your wizard towers are just in really weird locations, or at least this one up top is. Maybe if you, I don't even know, I wouldn't even know what to, what to tell you about that, but um, the base is kind of short, as you can see it's more rectangular than square. So somebody can very easily, like I was saying, if you have, if this is really is a trophy base, which it is because your town hall's in the middle, then it's going to be really easy for somebody to just attack from the top um, and, and take you out. So uh, biggest thing is taking these walls over here and moving them up in here and filling the space in because that's going to be really, really, really important. <clears throat> um, next and lastly, we're coming up on like 10 minutes. Oh wow, I guess 11 minutes, um, is Weehu. I'm going to say the threes are E's. <laughs> uh, he has a farming base as well. And you can already see right off the bat, he has his clan castle right in the middle, which is perfect. Did that other guy have... Where's your clan castle? Yeah, yours is in the middle. Okay, that's good. You always want your clan castle right in the middle of the base, or at least close enough to it, because the range on it is probably something like this if I were to draw it out as you can see it'd be very very hard for anybody to pull uh, to pull some troops out uh, but for you we who first of all I see you're upgrading these walls right here um, the amount of money that it costs you to upgrade those walls since they are 500,000 each is uh, enough to upgrade <laughs> probably two of these wizard towers um, yeah definitely so I wouldn't upgrade any more walls until you upgrade your wizard towers because uh, wizard towers do a whole bunch of damage so you definitely want to get those up. Um, and let's go ahead and look at the layout of this. So we do have our mortars in a very well protected <coughs> center area um, as well as the air defenses. They aren't too easy to get to. Uh, and I really do like what I'm seeing. I haven't made a base like this in a while. I probably will for my town all eight. I'll make a more trap friendly base but um, I really really like what you're doing with um, all of these traps around the base it's a lot of fun to build traps and then watch reviews and see, gi and see giants and and uh, other things just go flying it's it's really really cool <laughs> um, I made a couple videos on that in the past uh, <clears throat> so that's really good um, I like that you're doing that and um, it is always good to uh, like that's an easy way to save walls by leaving that by leaving those those gaps in there um, and it's just fun because it really does lead the giant say giants attacked it really will help lead them around the base like this instead of going into the center of it especially since you have this Tesla so say some giants came in right here they would hit this get knocked off go to the archer tower then the Tesla then right here then they'd go over here, then they might come into this wizard tower. But all along they're going around this side, they're getting attacked. Same with over here. So it's a really good layout, it looks awesome. Um, the wizard towers are in a good spot, uh, especially since when the giants come in here, they're not going to go straight at the wizard tower. Now archers might, but wizard tower will do some pretty serious damage to the archers, so they should be fine. Um, <clears throat> you're keeping everything pretty close to the walls. You're doing what I say in my videos where I say space out uh, your collectors and things. So you have like collector, barrack, collector, collector, uh, blah, 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 here, collector, collector. Um, but it's really good to, to spread out your collectors around the base because that way somebody can't just come and attack one side of the base and take all your loot. Or all your loot that's in your collectors. Yawning in, excuse me. Good. I'm tired. But um, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, those were Town Hall 8s. I might do Town Hall 7, Town Hall 9. I normally don't get too many Town Hall 10 pictures. I'm going to have to go through 600 emails to see if I can find any. Um, 
But go ahead and send those to uh, base reviews with molt at gmail.com. And remember to have your town hall in the title as well as your level in the title. And that'll be it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I haven't made one of these in a while. Um, but I hope that you guys are doing well. And take care. I will talk to you guys later. As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on, all right?